Welcome to our webinar. Our topic today is Consolidating Your Data Integration and Business Rules Tools with App Rules Portal. Our agenda is as follows. First, we'll discuss the challenge of integrating and automating disparate systems. We'll introduce you to App Rules Portal. Then, we'll do a demonstration of some of the key features of App Rules Portal. We will do some walkthroughs of data integration, business rules, and process automation workflow samples. And then we will take a few minutes to mention the most exciting item on the App Rules Portal product roadmap. Finally, we will conduct a Q&A session and to respond to your questions. Before we get going, please make a note of the following. All phones are set to mute. Please type your questions in the chat window located beside the presentation panel. Our booth representatives will answer questions during the Q&A session at the end of the presentation. In addition to line of business applications, most companies are utilizing several best-of-breed applications to run their business. There is a need to integrate these applications and to automate processes around them to increase operational efficiency. The high cost and reliability of performing this integration is becoming a major concern of IT organization, as the number of applications increase and departmental requirements become more complex. Where we come in, App Strategy has developed App Rules Portal a powerful all-in-one solution to assist IT departments, systems integrators, and consultants in tackling integration, business rules, and process automation projects. App Rules Portal offers the following. Data integration, data migration, powerful business rules engine, process automation, no code. App Rules Portal is a no code environment that includes drag and drop functionality for composing powerful solutions without writing code. The system includes over 80 connectors to data sources such as Dynamics CRM, Dynamics AX, Dynamics GP, SharePoint, Salesforce, and others. And we keep adding additional connectors, so if your connector is not in our current list, just ask to see if we have it in development. Thanks to our very scalable architecture, you can deploy App Rules Portal on the desktop, departmental server, or subscribe to our flexible and cost-effective hosting option. And when it comes to scalability, you can access App Rules Portal through all modern browsers. No other software is required. Now that we've got all the introductory stuff out of the way, it is time to see App Rules Portal in action. We will break up the demos into sections. First, we'll do a general overview of the product, touching on most of the key features, including our flexible toy box configuration and powerful activity libraries. We will also show how to configure connectors in our easy to use designer for composing powerful workflows. Next, we'll do a walkthrough of a simple data integration workflow. Then, we do a walkthrough of a simple and yet powerful business rules project. And we end the demo with a walkthrough of a process automation workflow. Okay, here we go. We will log in to the samples project database as an admin developer user. This will allow us to get access to every part of the App Rules Portal. App Rules Portal allows you to control user access based on role. This is the App Rules Portal developer view. Since our current user is also an administrator, additional functionality is accessible for adding users and other system settings. First, a quick tour. App Rules Portal main page is made up of four major UI areas. This is the main menu bar for the system used mostly by administrators and users to access features. This is the developer toolbar for accessing the commonly used tools while developing workflows. This is the App Rules Portal Toolbox, which is used for configuring the activities for tackling specific projects. This is the Workflow Designer Surface, which is used for composing workflows. Depending on your usage requirements and the project at hand, you can configure the toolbox by clicking on the Toolbox Configuration image. To configure the toolbox, select the modules you will be working with. The modules are categories by type. In this example, you can see that we have selected some base activity modules, SharePoint from the Collaboration category, Dynamics CRM from the CRM category, and SQL Server from the Database category. The App Rules Portal Toolbox neatly organizes the activity modules as you can see here. Click on Reset Toolbox and that's it. Your toolbox will be reconfigured to show the selected modules and remove any unwanted modules. Let's take a quick look at a few of the activity libraries we currently have in the toolbox. Control Flow. The Control Flow module contains activities for controlling the flow of the project. It includes the flow decision, if, parallel, sequence, and while activities. Base. Let's skip to the Base Activities module. These are commonly used activities including activities for calling web services and for executing custom functions, expressions, and scripts if you're using them in your project. 
App Rules The App Rules module is the business rules activity library that powers the App Rules portal business rules engine. It includes the only seven activities, but these activities are very powerful and provide the functionality for tackling any business rules related job. Dynamic CRM As you can see, the Dynamic CRM module includes quite a few activities. This is because we provide deep functionality that targets the specific data source. In this case, in addition to basic read slash write functionality, we offer the assign, associate entities, option set, set state, and other activities for dynamic CRM. We provide similar functionality for SharePoint, Salesforce, and other applications that expose additional options. I hope this gives you a good idea of how our activities are configured and organized. We will take a look at some examples to show fully configured activities when we do the workflow walkthroughs. To create a new App Rules project or workflow, click the New button. All you have to do is specify the name of the project. Select the usage type and optionally select how the workflow will be triggered. Take a look at the available usage types. In most cases, you'd be using parent workflow, but you can also specify that the project will be used to drive a dynamic CRM plugin workflow, a Salesforce callout workflow, or other special usage types. You can also specify how the workflow will be triggered or use the default. Click the OK button and the project will be created. You can open an existing project by clicking the Open button. We will go ahead and open the SQL Export to CSV Sample Project. When you select and open a project, you can click on the Details button to view every bit of information related to the workflow. In this case, we see the Project Form toolbar and the tabs for Status, Functions, and Scripts, Variables, Schedule, and other project artifacts. For example, let's take a look at the Schedule tab. As you can see, you can schedule the running of the workflow right in the Schedule tab. If you are composing a complex project that utilizes scripts and or functions, you can also define them here. For example, to add a script using JavaScript, select Script and click the Edit button. This is the script editor form. You can simply enter the script and also select the methods in the table to get access to every value in the running workflow. I forgot to mention that if you want to enter the code in c -sharp or VB, you define the code object as a function. This gives you a lot of flexibility when you are composing complex projects or to include legacy code as part of your project. While we're discussing projects, this is a good time to take a quick look at how data sources are defined and accessed in App Rules Portal. Once defined, you can utilize the data sources on all your projects. The Data Sources form shows all defined data sources, and you can also create a new data source from here. For example, to add a new Dynamic CRM data source, click the New button. Select Dynamic CRM from the CRM category. All properties for connecting to the data source are configurable. Connecting to Salesforce, SharePoint, etc. is handled the same way. Once you have configured your connection properties, you can test it and select the entities to include. Let's take a look at existing data sources to show you the metadata that is captured. In this example, we have selected account and contact, but we could have selected all entities including custom entities. The fields and pick lists associated with the entities are also included. There are a ton of other powerful features, but I think it is time to do the workflow walkthroughs. Let's get back to the data integration workflow. This is a simple workflow that is used to export data from an SQL database to a delimited file without writing any code. The first activity is the initialize source activity. Let's quickly take a look at the configuration. As you can see, the configuration includes the data source, entity, and other properties for selecting the records to be exported. There are also preview properties to check records and record counts. The second activity is the Initialize Delimited Target File activity, and here is the configuration. Click on the Data File property to view the details. In addition to the configurable file path, there are tabs for the file definition, field names, and the file settings. Quick look at the File Settings tab. It includes header, encoding, quotation, and the field separator properties. And now the big while activity in the middle of the designer. The while activity is the main container for implementing loops and iteration in App Rules Portal. The child activities are executed while the specified condition is true. Here is the configuration. To define the condition, select the condition type and click the Configure button. The Map and Set Fields activity is the key activity in the loop. 
Map and Set Fields is the field mapper for AppRules Portal. Let's take a look. Map and Set Fields requires a source and a target. The other properties are optional. Click on Field Maps to view and edit the field maps. The Auto Map Option property provides support for automatic mapping using field names and other criteria. Let's take a look at the maps. This provides unlimited ways to map the target fields since they can be mapped using values from other sources and even calculated fields, expressions, scripts, and functions. Let's run the project and see what happens. Click the Run button to run. Let's take a look at the results using logs slash stats. It shows the project run details including run instances, activity statistics, data source statistics, arguments, logs, and other information. In each tab it shows the counts and times. This look at the simple data integration workflow gives a good idea of what AppRules Portal projects look like, and how to configure and run them. AppRules Portal users compose a wide variety of workflow types ranging from a single to hundreds of activities. Now let's take a quick look at a simple looking but powerful business rules workflow walkthrough. We are going to select the decision table, Customer Discount Workflow. This workflow has only a single activity. It was designed to be called from other sources to set discounts for a customer. The single activity is the powerful Evaluate Decision Table activity. We will take a look at the configuration in a minute. First, let's take a look at the project details. The tab of interest is the Arguments tab. The arguments specified must be passed by other systems when calling the workflow directly or via web service. In this case, the arguments include the customer ID, the sale amount, and other arguments. Now let's take a look at the configuration of the decision table. The main property is Decision Table Rows. This shows the App Rules Portal decision table. Right mouse click to view the menu options. You can visit our website and customer portals for more information regarding the App Rules Portal decision tables. It will eat up the rest of our time if we go into it here. Let's run the project in test mode. Notice that we are prompted for the arguments while running in test mode. The winning row has the checked box. To end our walkthroughs, I will show a process automation workflow. This workflow was designed to be triggered from Dynamics CRM to reclassify customer accounts. The requirement is that when an account is inserted in Dynamics CRM, this workflow is automatically executed to perform the reclassification. First, let's take a look at the project details. The specified arguments will be passed from Dynamics CRM to AppRules Portal at runtime, and will be used to load the account record to be reclassified. In this workflow, we are using the flow decision activity to control the flow of execution after loading the account record. If the account record is valid, then we use the decision table to reclassify the record. The update record activity updates the account record with the changes. Let's take a quick look at the decision table. As you can see, this is a powerful decision table as it also includes dynamic CRM options set in the conditions and actions. This concludes our software demonstration. As promised, we have a very exciting addition to our product suite coming in October 2017. AppRules Portal Form Builder is a new kind of UI form development solution that integrates seamlessly with our existing suite. The Form Builder includes the following key features. No code, just like our current designer. Unrestricted browser and device support. A powerful set of controls for building and responsive forms that utilize all our connectors. And lots more features. We will be sending out information to all attendees as soon as AppRules Portal Form Builder is released. This concludes our presentation. Thank you for attending this App Strategy webinar. We will now invite our booth representatives to respond to your questions.